Drives this one into left center field. That's carrying well. Runners are going to tag, and Schwabe makes the catch all the way in left center. Mix was on his way to second, but the throw in from Schwabe didn't want to test the arm. Blake Burroughs heads over to third. And the sack fly from Will Olson ties this game at three. RBI double in the first inning, and a sack fly in his last one. Drives this one. Left center and deep at the wall is Schwabe. There it is. The first home run at Karras Park this season for the Sunfish, and it comes from the Augie boy. Will Olson crushes one to left center field, and it's now a 5-3 ball game in favor of the Sunfish. There goes Brewer. This one drilled hard in the left field. Beers isn't going to get that one. That bounces up against the wall. Brewer rounding third. The throw in from Beers. Bowling is safe at second as Norris McClure catches the ball off the bounce, and it's a one-out double that ties the game off the bat of Dalton Bowling. Off power. One for two as he drives this one in the left field. That's carrying far. That's at the wall. There it is! Another home run for the Sioux Falls Sunfish and Zeph Hoffpower finally fulfills his promise to me. He told me just a couple days ago, I'm going to hit a home run, and I told him, you better. And there it is with no outs in the bottom half of the fifth inning. The Sunfish take the lead right back. That series against the Trappers. Runners go again. Grounder up the middle. That's going to be a base hit. One run scores. Burroughs fires it in home. That's going to be attempted to be cut off by Galindo. And two runs will score. And the Sewers Valley Sabredogs take a one-run lead now in the top of the eighth inning off the bat of Jaden Schaefer. The pitch to McClure. Misses away. It's now a full count. A runner caught off. Beers. Mix, throw down to third, and gets into left field! Mix is on his way home! The throw from left, not in time! We're tied at Karras Park! Sole lead of the Lewis division with a one-run lead. This one drilled hard into left center field, carrying back. Tanner Wilson lost it, and that's off the wall! One run will score, Burroughs picks it up, fires it to third, Hennigan busting into third, slides head first! A two-out, two-run triple for Cullen Hennigan. That was absolutely crushed to left center field. The one-two. Beers drives that one into left center field. That's going to fall for a base hit. One run will score. Olsen's on his way to third. The center fielder falls, and Olsen's going to get the stop sign at third. Alan Greer fell trying to get the ball at the warning track. And a double by Declan Beers ties this in the bottom of the 10th inning. Norris McClure, the newest Sunfish, is now up three balls in one strike and could be the hero to draw the game-winning walk-off walk. Two, cost, or two intentional walks. Put some runners on. And here's the 3-1. He walked him! In his first game as a Sunfish, Norris McClure walks it off with a walk. He's high-stepping down to first. It was Declan Beers who doubled to tie the game, and the Sunfish are swarming McClure. They're running out to second. The newbie draws the walk to walk it off for Sioux Falls 10-9 Sunfish.